when I learn about make it uh, maker space community, uh, anyone from all walks of life we can come and do uh, tinkering. Hi everyone, my name is Scott Peng. You can call me KP for short. Uh, I'm 23 years old this year. I'm currently a year two student at Nanyang Technological University. When I was young, my computer is quite lousy. It died. <laughs> and then I planned to build one myself. At the time, I got inspiration from YouTubers like Linux Tech Tips on how to DIY building computers. I watched the videos and then like self-learn what are their functions, what are the uh, applications. I entered into Polytechnic I learn more deeper knowledge. Subsequently in university, then yeah, I do the same thing. Back in my polytechnic, we have this dedicated maker space for aesthetic for students there to use the 3D printers laser cutters. I started learning using them back in school. Up. So I also became very interested in designing my own 3D stuff. However, when I graduated, uh, I cannot use these facilities anymore. That's when I come across uh, Make It in around December 2021 online that they have such facilities in public libraries. Up. So I signed up for one of their starter courses on using 3 printers. I was repairing one uh, desktop computer. Apparently I need a certain custom-made parts, which is a hard disk drive bay. And typically desktop computers only uh, allow 3.5 hard disks, the bigger ones. Uh, but I have a much more smaller ones at the time because I don't want to spend the extra money buying the parts as well as uh, at the same time I want to explore if I can make my own custom design. I was thinking why not I make design one myself and then 3D print. So it was uh, very successful. This is also how I got to today like uh, making customized 3D parts for computers. Back in Polytechnic, other than 3 printers, I use laser cutters. I was actually uh, quite experienced at the time in laser cutters. But when I joined MakeKit, uh, initially there are no laser cutters. And according to the MakeKit coaches at the time, they will be adding it in a few months' time. Up. I signed up for a starter course on laser cutters. Give me more opportunities to make more complex stuff. For instance, uh, those uh, components that cannot be done using 3D printers. Particularly, I experimented on making the complex cases, like those chassis cases, like making one out of like uh, acrylic or medium density fiber box. Because uh, I also got some inspiration back in YouTube that some people actually made their cases as well using transparent acrylic or like those plywood materials. So with the help of laser cutters and 3D printers, I designed myself all the six sides of the case. The 3D print are these two brackets over here to join them together. I also managed to make it environmentally friendly. These parts are made of PLA which are biodegradable and medium density fibers can be recycled. I also managed to reduce the form factor of one case. So it was quite a good achievement that I managed to make much more smaller yet equally powerful kind of computers. The entire community is very friendly and uh, very lively. Maker coaches here are knowledgeable. Anything that I'm sure or I run into any problems, they will guide me as how, how to resolve the issues. At the time I joined Make It, it's also because I want to see if I can find like-minded people around my age. Like time to time, we will like walk over to each other's tables and then like you know find out what they are doing. They'll be willing to share what their projects are all about. I hope maybe in the future I can like commercialize some of them, put them out like on platforms like Carousel or like maybe start my own business. Getting inspirations from like Bill Gates and Steve Jobs. I also plan to maybe in the future uh, get like-minded people to come together and then uh, make things that's even uh, more unique and more uh, extraordinary.
I would like to thank National Libraries for setting up such a wonderful makerspace right here in uh, public libraries. It's still a very uh, useful kind of hobby and skill that it could be useful for their daily lives. Good kind of venture to like, come here to 3D printing and laser cutting to learn and explore further. Lah. It has allowed uh, people, anyone, thinker stuff, and more importantly, every user here uh, learn from each other. I welcome everyone here to come to make it, to make stuff, and let's build things together.